Three wins out of three for England, three defeats in a row for last year's champion Scotland, beaten today 28-16 by France at Murrayfield. In this championship, it was their first game before the Murrayfield crowd, an occasion for Scotland to expect. What Scotland got early on were the ominous sides of a French side on form. Thomas Castagnier had been shifted to fullback. He duly shifted to the try line on 11 minutes. Scotland were showing desire to get their game back on track. Kenny Logan kept them in touch early on with this penalty kick. The French too did their bit for the Scottish cause. Manier wasn't penalised for his headbutt on Hooker Stuart Reid, but after two other separate incidents in Tamak and Dode were sinbinned. It was Scotland's best period of the match. The kicking duties having been transferred to Chris Patterson, he put them in 10-6 behind at halftime. And with France still down to 13 men at the start of the second half, Scotland took full advantage. Andy Nicholl, restored at scrum half for this match, went over for the try. Coupled with a Patterson conversion, it put the Scots three points in front. But as Scotland were building for a grandstand finish, they faded. Two French tries in the last quarter of an hour put the French out of sight. We got ourselves into a position having got ahead of France and worked very hard to do it, um, not to make the most of it. And I suppose the disappointing thing then is we had a, a disappointing 10 minutes around our 22, which with opportunities to clear and, and didn't. Uh, and ultimately it led to a French try when I feel that they really were looking to try and find their game again. It may have been an improvement on Scotland's previous showings, but it won't do much to ease the pressure on the players or to silence the critics. James Matthews, Sky News, Murrayfield.